What is up folks, Renaissance Man here, and we have ourselves a bad series between Brizza Pops, who is a squire, and Blunophobia, who is also a squire. So please, sit back, relax, grab your phones, grab your dart monkeys, grab your favorite pillows, and let's watch some balloons. So we have the start, of course, round one. They both start with a farm, as usual, as per usual in Mobile King of the Hill. Um, so, I've played, me personally, I've played, actually, have I played these two? I'm actually not sure if I've played, I think I've played them at least once. And if I had to guess on who gave me the most challenge, I don't know. I mean, at this point, everybody in Mobile King of the Hill just plays the same consistently like decent you know like when you play one mobile king of the hill player you kind of play them all there are some outliers you know when you get to nobles they typically are pretty good like they are they make the least amount of mistakes now since these two are squires they probably make more mistakes than you know the average well not actually no since these two are squires they make less mistakes than the average mobile king of the hill player but they make more mistakes than your average noble which is to be understood because, you know, they're noble. So Brizza and Bloom and I think Bloonophobia's name is actually Atlas. And I think Atlas is easier to say than Bloonophobia. So Blizz Brizza and Atlas both went with the round two, round, round two yellow rush. And I don't think Brizza has his dark monkey on last. I didn't see it. But I'm not sure because the way his dark monkey is shooting, it, I don't think is on last. And having a dark monkey on last really does help with the pinks because it pops the pinks as soon as they come out every single time. You know, if you if your opponent can get you chasing on other balloons, it's gonna mess up your whole. You're gonna probably leak because you don't want that dark monkey chasing because the pinks. Because if your opponent sends a lot of pinks and your dark monkey is chasing after the first two sets of pinks. Then there's like three other sets of pinks that hasn't been popped yet, and that gives, and when that gets to the further along the map, it's going to leak through. So, um, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have his dark monkey on, on last. Well, I mean, he's making it work. He hasn't leaked yet, so he's obviously doing well. But both he he did the strategic using battle and at the beginning of round seven. What that does is just basically. If you don't know this yet, when you use your energy at the beginning of round seven, then you're not tempted to use it at in the middle or near the end of round seven. Because if you do that, your opponent can send you a big um, fast cooldown. I mean, a, a big yellow rush on round eight, and that usually can make anybody leak. If you know, unless they sell like a farm or something and get up a thousand dark monkeys, but why take that risk? You, you can just balance it at the end, beginning of round seven. And after that, you have you you have to build some kind of defense for the rerush. But you can typically defend around seven rerush better than you can defend around eight rerush. So that's where that logic comes in. So round ten, let's see who sends lead. They both just sent lead. I think I know Brizzy just sent the lead, and they're both going to get up there two zero. Neither are. In, any better position they're kind of even at the moment if i had to guess i don't know i think they had the same amount of money i want to say they have the same amount of money this is a smart rush because brizza i mean atlas didn't build dark monkeys pre round 11 and you can typically get somebody to leak to whites if they don't build their dark monkeys before round 11. but oh atlas comes back with a pretty nice rush there that's a pretty good rush he he layered some whites along with cam camo leads, and that one made Brizza <coughs> use battle energy, and two made him buy a second dart monkey, a third dart monkey. I'm sorry, and then this rerush should make him leak, if not kill him. Yeah, that was that was a pretty good sequence sequence by Atlas. He sent him now. Brizza should sent Atlas some camo. This usually happens when you attack somebody very well they don't know that your opponent doesn't have camo lead popping power this is also a pretty good rush you know camo um zebras because 
truth be told, the catapult isn't very good in dealing with large quantity of balloons. So if you send any large rush to a catapult, if they don't build a juggernaut right away, then you're probably not, you're probably gonna leak a lot. Now this is, this is pretty back and forth. Uh oh, he might die here. This is, this is, this is close. This is really close. This is, this is pretty back and forth. I want to say that Brizza has more money. At the same time, I think Atlas, yes, I think, yes, Brizza definitely has more money because he has two jugs with three dark monkeys. So he could easily sell his jug to get, to go get ahead of farming. Um, so yes, Brizza does, definitely has more money on this one. He also has slightly better defense. I mean, it wouldn't cost much for Brizza to build um, another dark monkey like he just did there. So he has better defense along with having more money. Uh, did he need to use? Yeah, I think he. I think he used the battle geo on that one. Was pretty smart. But now I'm curious to see what Atlas's rerush is going to be. And Brizza is going seven farms. Is that seven? Hmm. That's new. Typically, typically at this point you want to get ready, get ready to get your fourth tier banana farm. But let's see, let's see if this works out. So Atlas didn't send him a rerush. I'm not sure. I mean, when you send something like a, a Moab, you want to kind of send a rerush, even if it's just like constant zebras. You want to send something because Moabs are expensive, and if you don't send a rerush to counterbalance you losing the money for sending a Moab, then yeah. It doesn't really look good. Now this this might actually kill him. This is that was a very good rush by Brizza. That was a very good rush. This this could actually kill him if he doesn't play his cards right. And it killed him. That was that was a pretty good rush. That was he. If he didn't see the rush, it was um, a Moab followed by ceramics. Which if you if you attack one Juggernaut with ceramics on steps, you you pretty much can get get a few by he sent about a good four or five ceramics there plus the moab so so the monkeys got distracted by the ceramics and then moab was just able to walk free i think i think uh i gotta go back i'm not sure but i think that atlas could have used battle energy a little early on that one but at the same time he, he probably didn't want to risk it although he did have an extra farm so he probably could use battle energy and still had enough money to Get up maybe a fan club or something without having to sell his fourth tier so it was just a good sequence by brizzle he was behind in farming well yeah he was kind of behind the farming because when when your opponent gets a fourth tier and you're you haven't even got your republic yet you're 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 losing a lot of money like your opponent having a fourth tier for an entire round while you only have seven two zeros it's just a big difference all right let's see 720 farms will give you hold up all right so 120 farm gives you seven bananas at 60 dollars a pop that's 420 dollars so 420 dollars times seven is roughly what like 29 40 almost three grand so you get a little less than three grand if you have 720 farms versus having a factory you're getting 600 dollars of six crates so you're getting 3600 now it's only a six hundred dollar difference, but six hundred dollars is a big difference in balloons. Like six hundred dollars is a what is that? That's a um. That's a that's a whole upgrade on your on your chipper, or that's an entire. If if you play your cards right, it could be um the difference between you getting a jug. Or you not or you keeping a catapult like that's six hundred dollars is big, so it it would it was he was definitely behind in farming. But he made up for it by smart rushing. You know, if you if you're behind in farming and you know how to rush to get your opponent to, you know, because uh, typically if you're behind in farming, that means your your opponent is being greedier than you. So if you have smart rushes to force your opponent to not be as greedy, you're gonna you're gonna do well. You're you're not going to lose that much if you know how to rush well. Now there are some opponents who are just really good at defending. So even if they are being greedy, they have a way to defend almost all the rushes you send them. That's those are the opponents that gets kind of annoying, but at the same time, 
it's just some players in Mobile Kingdom Hill is just that good. They they can be greedy and defend most of your rushes at the same time. Not to say that now if you do a rush like Brizza did and just send the Moabs mixed with ceramics, you might get by because I don't think I don't, I'm not sure if Atlas was expecting that rush because it, I, that's my first time I've ever seen a rush like that. But it's, it was a pretty good rush. It was a pretty good rush, and it and it killed them. So it worked out. But now we're on Yellow Brick Road, and Brizza is easing on down the road with the life advantage. Wow. I guess they're, they're same in farm, so they have the same farms, and he has the life advantage, so he's in a good position. What is this? Oh, I'm sorry. Stop. Stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He has the life advantage. Uh, he's sending him around eleven rush. So Brizza is being very aggressive. You can be you can be pretty aggressive on Yellow Brick because Yellow Brick is a weird map to defend because because of the angles. It's a very weird map to defend, and I I'm pretty sure Brizza, whatever rush he sends him might kill him here. Yes, constant zebras. So anything short of a uh, maybe a fan club. Oh, I think I think Atlas might lose here. And he will lose. Okay. So very smart play by Brizza. This was a very good series. Brizza, pr pretty good player. Um, good job, you too. Thanks for watching, fellas. And come back later.